everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all the vegan food options that I found at Hollywood Studios. If you haven't already watched the rest of this series, there are currently four other parts, which are Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, and Disney Springs, then make sure to go and watch them. Also make sure to stay tuned for the rest of this series, which will include Boardwalk, the water parks, and the hotels. They will be coming out each Tuesday for the next few weeks at 7 p.m. UK time. So let's get into it. Starting off with snacks, usually the snacks are around 0 to 10 dollars and the snack places are open all day, usually from around 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Sometimes they will open a lot earlier, especially at the moment with Galaxy's Edge and everything. On Hollywood Boulevard, there is the Trolley Car Cafe, which is Starbucks. As I've mentioned in all the other vegan videos, this is pretty much your standard American Starbucks. It has tea and coffee, there's plant-based milk, I think they have coconut and soy milk. And then you can also get your refreshers, you can usually get fresh fruit and a couple of other different snacks that you can get at your usual American Starbucks. At Hollywood Scoops they have vegan ice cream but just make sure you watch out for the cone as it does contain honey. Moving on to Sunset Boulevard, at Anaheim Produce they have fruit, chips and they also have pretzels but make sure that you don't get them with the cheese sauce as that is not vegan. It does come with it though so you can just ask for it without or hand it to somebody who is not vegan that you may be with. There is also the KRNR The Rock Station has chips and it also has frozen coke and frozen Minute Maid lemonade which is basically like the little slushies which are really cool. At Grand Avenue there is Baseline Tap House which has a Bavarian pretzel and um, just make sure you ask for it without the beer cheese fondue. And then at Galaxy's Edge there is Cat Sacker's Kettle where you can grab Galactic Grains and Outpost Popcorn Mix. And last of all this is literally the most exciting thing ever to me. So I was in Walt Disney World I think around three weeks ago and I literally had no idea the milk from the milk stand is vegan. I cannot believe it. I just assumed when it was called the milk stand and they were selling the milks, they have blue and green milk and they also have alcoholic versions which include I think rum and some other type of alcohol, I can't remember. Um, and basically it's just like a cup of blue or green milk and I just assumed they're not gonna be vegan, it will be made with cow's milk, but actually they're made with a mix of coconut and rice milk. So make sure you grab one of those if you're there. Next time I go, I will definitely be getting one of those. And there they also have a Wombo yogurt cup, um, which is also vegan, which is really, really cool. Just before I move on to the quick service section, I want to remind you all about my new Instagram. It is linked to my YouTube channel. It will be all Disney content posted on there. All my future giveaways will most likely be on there, so make sure to go give me a follow. It is underscore Lauren dot Rachel underscore. I will put it on the screen now so you can see it. And please go follow me. I might follow some of you back. So straight onto the quick service. These are usually around 10 to 15 dollars for a meal and they open somewhere usually between 10 and 12, just depending on where they're located and what they sell. On Sunset Boulevard at Fairfax Fair, you can get the Southwest Bowl. I always get this at Hollywood Studios. It's basically just a bowl. It has like rice, I think vegetables, maybe beans, bit of salad. It's so, so good and it's super cheap. I think it might only be like $9.99 or something like that. So I would definitely recommend getting that. At Muppet Courtyard, there is Pizza Rizzo and they have a spicy Italian sausage sub, which I had last time we went. It was super nice. They also have vegetable pizza if you ask for it. I'm not sure if they have vegan cheese or if they just take the cheese off, but you definitely can get it vegan if you would like to. Moving Moving on to Echo Lake at Backlot Express, you can grab the Two Sons Hummus, but bear in mind they do share the fryers, so it's not 100% vegan guaranteed. Um, and you can also get French fries, and if you specify that you're vegan, they will make you a Southwest salad. I've never ordered it, so I don't know what it comes with or what's in it, um, but maybe if there's like cheese or some kind of dressing, they might just have to take that off. Again, I'm not 100% sure about that because I've never had it before. At Dockside Diner, which is also on Echo Lake, you can get the Uncrustables, which will be on the children's menu. Um, so if everybody in your party is heading there and you don't know what you can get, that's like an option. Not the best, but it's better than nothing. On Commissary Lane at ABC Commissary, they have a breakfast option, which is plant-based chiquilas, if that's how you say it, and eggs. I've never had this. We don't really tend to buy breakfast. We usually just bring something with us. But if you're going for breakfast or you're looking for something for breakfast, that's a really good option. And 
And for lunch and dinner, there is a California burger, a Mediterranean hummus and flatbread. And for dinner, they also have a teriyaki vegetable bowl. I've never had that. I've not even seen it because we usually end up going there for lunch. But that is an extra option. I don't really know what comes with it, but I'm sure it's really nice. So moving on to Toy Story Land. At Woody's Lunchbox, you can get tachos, as long as you order them with vegan chili and vegan cheese, and you ask for them without sour cream. You can also get a grilled cheese, as long as you specify you want it with vegan cheese, and you ask for it with no mayonnaise. You can also get potato barrels here as well. And last but not least, at Galaxy's Edge, there is Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo. You can grab the Felucian Kefta and Hummus Garden Spread. You can also get the Taste of Taka Donut, as long as you ask for it, without ranch. You can get the Pico pasta rings they are on the adult and the kids menu which is great and you can also get veggie dippers and that is the end of the quick service if you are enjoying this video please 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 hit subscribe and that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads i am uploading videos every tuesday thursday and saturday at 7 p.m uk time and there are different themes for each one so currently as you'll see here tuesdays is vegan food throughout walt disney world i might be moving on to disneyland california soon we'll, we'll see thursdays is how to book and plan your walt disney world vacation really really easy economically and efficiently and then Saturday is a random video of your choosing if you have any suggestions leave them below at the moment we're doing a little story time series we might also have ride throughs and all sorts of different stuff so stay tuned for the Saturday video as well because you might not always know what's coming So for table service, on Hollywood Boulevard, you can head to Hollywood Brown Derby. They have a complimentary bread service where if you specify you want it, they will bring you Earth Balanced Butter, which is a vegan butter alternative. They also have curried butternut squash soup, plant-based chopped steak and chocolate coconut cake. So there's loads of stuff there that you can grab. On Muppet Courtyard, you can go to Mama Melrose, Mama Melrose, it's Mama Melrose's restaurant Italiano. Wow, Mama at Melrose's Ristorante. Mama Melrose's Ristorante Italiano. And you can grab polenta cake with mushroom and cauliflower with cashew cheese. Plant-based arancini. You can also get both the margarita and the mushroom flatbread as long as you specify you want it with vegan cheese. You can get pasta with marinara. Again, you do have to specify that you would like it vegan. And they also have a cappuccino affogato, which I assume is a dessert. I don't like coffee, so I would never have it, but... Sounds great if you are a coffee lover. And the complimentary bread service here is also vegan. Moving on to Echo Lake. At Hollywood and Vine, they do have breakfast here, which is really cool. If you specify, the chef will make you vegan Mickey waffles, which is super, super exciting. You can also get cereals and oatmeal, fresh fruit, zucchini strata. I have no idea what that is, but... Um, Sounds a bit vegetable-y to me. Um, roasted red potatoes and onion, plant-based eggs or omelette. If you specify you want it, the chef will make that for you. I'm pretty sure Hollywood and Vine is a buffet. I'll put it on the screen if it's not. In this case, just specify you want everything vegan. You can always ask the chef. They have like little cards that tell you everything that's vegan just so you can make sure that you're not gonna eat anything that you're not supposed to. Moving on to the lunch and dinner options. Same thing goes here. Make sure you specify that you are vegan and they will help you out. But you can get vegetable soup, apple kale and cranberry salad, wild rice pilaf, three bean quinoa cake, which sounds interesting to say the least. I've never tried it before. Polenta, potatoes. They have different types of vegetables like cauliflower and stuff like that. Green beans, most likely. They sometimes have a tofu dish going on, a blueberry cobbler, and they have vegan ice cream. You do have to just specify that you want vegan ice cream. Yeah, and that's all the things at Hollywood and Vine. Next on to 50s Primetime Cafe. You can get Cousin Amy's plant-based ice Berg lettuce wedge. Cousin Harold's plant-based entree. I have no idea what's in that since I've never had it before. They have a plant-based apple crisp and they also have an allergy brownie sundae. So I will assume that this is also probably gluten-free and nut-free. But if you specify you want that with vegan ice cream, they will do that for you. And they also have vegan milkshakes there too. At Tune In Lounge, they have a pasta with marinara. They also have the brownie here. And if you specify, they will bring it you with vegan ice cream. And they have vegan milkshakes here 
here as well. And on Commissary Lane at Sci-Fi Dining Theatre Restaurant, which I have never been to, but I really, really, really want to. Hopefully next time we go, I will get the opportunity to do this. Um, they have vegan crab cake, vegan tofu Szechuan lettuce wrap. They have a flying saucer burger and they also have vegan milkshakes here. I think this place is so, so cool. It's basically a theatre and you get to sit in like a pretend car and then you can like watch a film. I'm not 100% sure how it works because as I say I've never been but it's a really cool concept so I would definitely uh, recommend checking it out and next time if I do go and you're watching along with the vlogs or whatever I will make sure to comment on whether it's good or I'm sure it will be. So there you go that is all the vegan options I have found at Hollywood Studios. If there is anything I've missed please 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 let me know down in the comments. I haven't been everywhere seen everything. I always do a little bit of research to back myself up make sure I haven't forgotten anything but again not everything is out there and they're constantly changing the recipes and the menus this is a small disclaimer make sure to just check with everything because you never know what things might change over time especially if you're watching this a few months or even years from now make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you on thursday with my next video bye